Yeah. Joe Rice down seven nothing after the first uh, drive by Tree Boy. Got a lot of good games going on. It's a lot. Today. It's, it's gonna be hard yeah. to get them on screen. It's, it's not a, a lot. It's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh. True Boy and um, Joe play, and as it was happening, um, this happened so quick. Like we just seen the gun, uh, like a, I guess he had a laser on the gun and he shot True, and um, and uh, everybody just started running, and I ducked down, and um, I went towards the restroom, and as I was going in the restroom, I stayed in there, and I just heard there was just so many gunshots, at least 20 of them at the most. And as of that, um, I mean, for something to happen like this, it's, I'm not even from here. Like, I'm from Texas. I come from Texas to play. And, I mean, it's just, I'm still shocked. Like, I can hardly talk. Everyone was just running. Everybody was just dropping because they were getting shot. Fred, it certainly is disturbing when you see that live web feed interrupted by the sound of gunshots. Uh, the latest information put out by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the authority in this right now, is, as you mentioned, multiple fatalities, among them, a suspect uh, investigators saying that they are still waiting to try to confirm if there are any other potential suspects out there but at least for now they can confirm again multiple fatalities at this tournament in Jacksonville Florida in the downtown area a place that had been bustling with activity and now the challenge for authorities is to try to find people who had sheltered in place just a few moments ago the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office turning to their Twitter page to tell people uh, trying to get to relay a message to individuals who are seeking shelter to use their cell phones to call 911 so a SWAT team or police officers can actually get to them. Uh, they point out that they are finding many people, again, many people still hiding in locked areas at the landing. Uh, the landing, a very popular spot there in the downtown area along the banks of the St. John's River that houses a lot of stores, dining and nightlife location, and this game bar where this uh, Madden video game tournament had been happening. So this message right now has been put out there. And interesting, as you see, read the bottom of that tweet, Fred, uh, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office using that hashtag, the landing mass shooting, to relay all official information that, again, at this point, the latest headline is multiple fatalities at this uh, Florida gaming tournament mass shooting. Uh, among them, a suspect, Fred. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of shocking, honestly, you know, um, you know, you try to enjoy your day and go about life as positive as you can. And, you know, this kind of stuff happens every day. And you don't expect it to happen this close around you. You hear about it on the news, but you don't expect it, you know, to almost immediately influence you and happen to you. You know, it's crazy. And I feel for everybody that, you know, the victims for today. And you're hearing the numbers coming out as we're getting them as well from, from sources talking about people that actually died today. What thoughts are going through your mind about that? You know, it could have been me, it could have been any one of us that, you know, if we were there, it could have been anybody, you know, it's, it's crazy numbers. It's crazy numbers for one shooting. It's crazy.